We've been together as an FLL team for three years. During this time, we learned basic design principles and strategies for building and programming our robot. We use these same design principles and strategies to try to meet the Moonbots challenge. I think the best part was building the field and creating the robots and learning all this cool stuff about the moon. As a bonus, we got to use power tools. <laughs> What are some of the requirements for a robot to successfully carry out a mission on the moon? The moon's terrain can be unpredictable. The sides of craters can be difficult to climb. The outside rim of the crater may have a gradual slope, making it easier to get into. But the inside of the crater wall is slumped. This can make it very hard to get back out. So your robot really has to be designed for the obstacles that it faces. Kids keep it simple. Our first robot was complicated, but we learned how to design a four-wheel drive robot. Tool design first, and then we program the robot to use the tool. Competitive development. We try several options, and the best one wins. Sweet! Test repeatedly. We make sure something works five times in a row. Change only one thing at a time, so we always know what effect that change had. We broke development for tools and programs. This is our method for step-by-step -step improvement. We build a better new tool or program before we take apart the old tool or change the old program. And we're doing rapid prototyping to try to find what works best. With the LEGO Moonbot surface, we need to be able to have traction going forwards, but we need to be able to have smooth turns going from side to side. To make the robot turn on the bumpy fields, we had to create omni wheels that could turn, um, they could go forward and then they could turn left to right. An omni wheel is made up of a bunch of smaller wheels mounted sideways, so that as well as working as a drive wheel for going forwards and backwards, it can slide sideways easily. This is good for turning, because these wheels can slide easily, but it also gives power forward and backward, adding traction. Navigation can be a big problem. And you can't really tell where you are if you don't have a good robot. The robot will need to use its own sensors to figure out where it is and where it's going. It starts out by resetting the rotation sensors. Then you get your three inputs. Of course, you want to go by compass direction the power, which is your speed, and the duration is how far you want to go. Then we have a loop until true, and the power goes to a move unlimited block, and the course that you want to go is put into the compass sensor, and it will tell you how far off the course you are. It hooks up to steering on your motor block, so however far you off, that's how much it corrects. And here, it's determining how far you've gone, and once you've gone as far as you need to go, it'll exit the loop and stop your motors. So you've gone however far you need to go in the compass direction you want to go. I had absolutely no clue what I was getting into when I joined the Cougars Robotics team. I didn't really know what I was getting into when I joined the Cougars. I had no idea what I was getting into. I had no idea what I was getting into when I joined the Cougars. It's a lot more work than I expected. It's been harder than expected at times, easier. It's just a lot cooler than you think. It's more complicated. I have learned in my experience in Canada without any team members that it is really hard to work without anybody there to give you ideas. You have to really work with people and be willing to accept multiple different designs for what's best for the team. You need to know what you need to get done and you need to get it done because the whole group relies on you and you rely on the rest of the group. You have to still listen to other people and you have to know what they're doing to actually have a positive effect on the team or the project. And then the competition makes it fun. Be around people and share ideas and create stuff. It's been a lot of fun. I think it's amazing.